All right, folks, Pirate Stew here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a planetary breakfast disc. This is a great thing to make, especially if you got a, a young budding astrophysicist uh, that uh, is just learning to cook. Uh, you can kill two birds with one stone. Uh, you can talk about different planetary uh, features and uh, how you might recreate those using, using edible breakfast materials uh, to make a, a planetary breakfast disc. And, uh, and also encourage their creativity in the kitchen with their cooking skills. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make a planetary disc and uh, we'll also talk about some of the different ingredients you might want to think about using. Now for me, uh, I'm, a, I'm a planetary egg based guy. I like to make mine with eggs, but uh, you could certainly do this with um, a pancake mix. Uh, I, ha I have a video where I show you how to make delicious pancakes using muffin mix. Um, and you could use uh, fruit instead of vegetables uh, like uh, bananas or, or uh, oranges or apples or anything to make kind of round features on your planetary breakfast disc uh, if you want to do a pancake based thing. But today we're going to show you how to do egg based. So uh, with that uh, we're going to crack some eggs. Alright so um, I went ahead and I cracked my eggs and I have egg whites and I have egg yolks. Uh, I, you don't have to do that this way. If you want a totally yellow planet, you can just uh, scramble the eggs up. If you want a planet uh, that has uh, that's all white with uh, some uh, big yellow volcanic uh, places, you can just uh, put the eggs in there and, and pretend that the, the egg yolks are a, a feature of the planet. And, uh, but this is good if you want two different colors, if you, if you want you know, like a land and an ocean or different uh, regions. So in this case, I'm just going to leave the yellow, the yolk uh, being yellow. The nice part about yolks is it's already colored yellow. So if, you, if that's one of the colors you want, uh, you're already set. And uh, I'm going to have some green features in my planet. So I don't, I'm not going to dye my uh, whites uh, green. I'm going to put a couple drops of blue in there. There's two or three drops. Uh, I have a little bit of egg yolk on my, my fork, but that doesn't matter. Now, one thing is, you might not want to mix this up too much. Um, you might want to have it kind of streaky, so that that way you end up with uh, some additional coloring on your, uh, on your planetary disc. So, um, once we've got those mixed up, we can uh, pour these into the pan, and, uh, and we're going to cook these on really low heat, so that that way uh, it cooks up nice and slow and we can cook everything at once without having to worry about stirring it. I'm going to set these over here and we'll show you here in a few minutes uh, how to put these in the pan after we cut up some uh, planetary features. Now the thing about planetary features is lots of times planetary features are round because they're impact craters or asteroids that have crashed into the planet or they're volcanoes or something. Uh, uh, round tends to be a, a very popular um, shape when it comes to planets and so um, obviously sausage you can cut this up and it looks like uh, impact craters um, we're gonna have some uh, avocado here we can cut this up it has a different color different texture and uh, we can make some round shapes out of a round uh, thing like an avocado onion also uh, can be used we'll cut this up and it will uh, we can make it as an impact crater with with expanding rings out from it um, kind of features and uh, cheese uh, not only is tasty for a breakfast planetary disc but you can cut this up into strips and lay it across and make it look like bands on the planet um, the other thing that you can do for some added feature on your uh, on your planetary disc is uh, spices so uh, not only does it add to the flavor of your planetary disc when you eat your planetary disc but um, it can also add some color. Now this is just garlic salt. Doesn't really add much color to a, a typically uh, an egg dish. But uh, you can use chili powder, especially if, uh, if you like a little bit of Mexican uh, flair to your planetary disc. And this is, this is a, a reddish brown, so it adds a nice color. Or uh, ground paprika doesn't add that much flavor, but uh, can add some color. And you can dash this on there and make it look like uh, clouds in the atmosphere or whatever. Uh, the other thing that you might want to consider using is uh, cottage cheese or sour cream, especially if you want polar caps. Um, the white of the sour cream or the cream cheese is a great thing for making icy type features on your planetary disc. Of course, your creativity uh, 
is just uh, totally up to the individual. You could use beans or corn or carrots or pretty much anything you can think of, uh, especially round things like, like the things I just mentioned make great uh, planetary features. Um, but uh, again, you're, it's limited only by your imagination. So uh, I'm going to cut some of these up and get them ready to put in the, uh, in the egg and we'll show you how to cook this. Now, one thing I want to point out, especially with your sausages for your impact graters, um, you want to cut these thick enough to where they'll stick out through the egg. Um, I can use these ends here, maybe these little uh, volcanic sort of features. Um, but if you cut them too thin, then they'll sink down into the egg. The egg will cover it up and uh, you might not see it. So um, make sure you cut them thick enough to where they'll, they'll rise up out of your, uh, your planetary base. Now for my onion, I'm only going to cut one slice of onion. Again, cut it kind of thick. And uh, I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to have a feature here, a round feature. Who knows what caused this? Uh, could have been a... Uh, an eruption of the planetary material that boiled up and made a round feature or impact crater. Um, and for the rest of this stuff, um, I'm going to cut it into some pieces. Um, they don't all have to be the same, the same sort of uh, evenness. In fact, it's probably better if they're not. And so you can see with this, I can kind of put put my my impact or my round feature in the middle and I can put a couple radiating um, pieces out from around that if I want to and uh, make up whatever story I want about how that how that was caused so uh, something to think about there uh, how you want to do that but again uh, it works pretty good if, if you want these to be a little bit wider uh, radius you could just kind of crack them a little bit and uh, and make your feature like that Alright, so uh, for my avocado here, I've, I've cut this in half, and you can see uh, avocado is round, so I'm going to cut this again, I'm going to cut it kind of thick, uh, if I can get this going here to where you can see it, alright, I kind of mush that up a little bit, but that's okay, and uh, cut the skin off here, and you can see it's not the best avocado in the world but it's what I got so uh, we have a nice round um, avocado sort of feature here again since it's a planetary sort of thing doesn't have to be perfect could have been acted on by uh, earthquake or something at some point in the past and um, it's as long as it's kind of round uh, it will look pretty cool so we've got some basic building materials here and uh, we'll go ahead and start um, I'll cut some cheese strips here and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start putting this together. So one other thing I should note is uh, you also might want to decide if you're making it a rocky planet or a gaseous planet. Um, if, you, if you're going to use lots of cheese strips and, and uh, powder here that's good for making a gaseous planet because you can have bands in the atmosphere. Um, and then of course all the, the round stuff that looks like impact craters. Uh, and asteroids or whatever look uh, are good for rocky type planets. So, at any rate, let's uh, let's get this uh, thing on the road. We got uh, lots of planetary features here to cook up. All right, so we're going to start with uh, taking our our planet maker here and uh, spray a little bit of uh, spray cooking oil in there. And then, uh, in this case, we're going to have uh, different features. So we've got our egg yolk and we've got our our blue stuff here. And we kind of just pour those in there. That's going to be interesting. And we're going to put this on low heat. Because uh, we want to be able to, to get this going and take off for 15 minutes to go do something else. Come back and it'll be done. So uh, we've got our planet here. Now we've got to kind of decide how we're going to orient stuff on here. I think I'm going to have um, the, the planet oriented to where that that gold the the golden yolks is up towards the top so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and create or start with some sort of of a impact feature here and so we'll put our onion in there with some radiating rings around it and again you don't have to use everything you cooked up or cut up 
So I think I'm going to call that good for that feature. I'm going to go ahead and put my avocado here somewhere. All right, so we got that feature. We have some uh, impact pieces of sausage here or there. Let's see, let's put that one over there. Let's put a little volcano. Whoops, flipped over. Put a little bit of volcano bump there. Maybe one over here. Now I've got some leftover avocado that I just minced up. And um, doesn't have to be a rhyme or reason to this, but um, not all this will end up showing up because some of the egg will cook up over the top of it. But it certainly adds flavor to your planetary breakfast disc and a little bit of extra texture. And then I'm going to put a cheese strip across here, some sort of maybe atmospheric band or um, who knows what, what's caused that in here. Just break off the extra to make it fit. We can even put a little bit down here at the bottom of the globe. And the egg is going to bubble up a little bit around some of this sort of stuff. So, um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The idea is just to come up with some creative ways to make your food look planetary. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of garlic salt here. Because uh, I like garlic salt. I'm just going to sprinkle that on there. Uh, again, that's probably not going to show up, but it uh, adds a little bit of flavor. And uh, since I've got some sausage and some uh, avocado and some onion in there, I'm thinking some chili pepper or chili powder might not be a bad thing in there. So we're going to sprinkle that on there around the cheese band. Give them a little bit of texture, maybe even on the on our uh, onion feature there. And again, you could do the same sort of thing with uh, the, the ground paprika and kind of make some some features there and uh, the next thing we do is we put a lid on this and uh, we just let that cook nice and slow low heat uh, you know go away for 10 minutes come back and uh, it should be done but again it's good it's gonna look a little different than what it does now so there's now and we'll check in about 10 or 15 minutes all right according to my watch it's been exactly 10 minutes and uh, Looks pretty close to being done. I still got a little bit of a uh, of egg white over here that's not cooked. You can maybe see it jiggling there a little bit. So uh, we're just going to give that a couple extra minutes, and uh, should be good. So one other thing you could do, you can either do this while it's cooking or after. Uh, you can use cottage cheese here, and uh, excuse my arms here. We're going to make a little bit of a of a snowy feature here at the top. Some ice caps. You could also uh, call these uh, clouds, I guess, and uh, you could even put some clouds here on your on your weather atmospheric weather thing there. Whatever you want to do with it, again, uh, it's kind of up to you. So it's been right at 15 minutes. My little bit of egg white there that wasn't quite cooked is cooked up. So uh, it's ready to slide this off onto a plate and enjoy my planetary breakfast. All right, so hopefully you've enjoyed uh, me showing you how to make a planetary breakfast disc. And uh, again, the idea is to encourage some creative cooking in the, uh, in the kitchen. And also think about different things that make different planetary features like clouds and impact craters and volcanoes and weather bands and storms or whatever else uh, you might want to think of mountains uh, different uh, land features like uh, oceans and, and continents uh, lots of things that you can kind of uh, work into thinking about your planetary breakfast disc and uh, lots of uh, ingredients out there that you can use to be creative uh, with colors and textures and and different shapes so uh, Hopefully uh, you'll start posting some of your pictures of your planetary breakfast disc and we can make this a, uh, a trending thing.